Right, hey guys, my name is Travis and this is Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> and we're here at Aviator PPG. We wanted to talk to you guys today about a product that we are way overdue in doing a review video on. We've had this product now for about four months, I'd say. Yeah. It is the Anti Torque Lamell. It's a product that was uh, developed by a company called Virus PPG that also makes paramotors in Europe. And, and this is a very simple system that they developed in order to uh, create an aerodynamic effect that would cancel this torque. Now, when we first saw this product, <laughs> we were a little I trepidatious about whether skeptical. this might actually work. And um, quite honestly, it looks very similar to those playing cards that uh, you know, you yeah. put on your bike. They look a lot nicer than that, but that, that's yeah. some of the feedback that we've gotten from folks on whether this is really going to work. So we, we ordered a few um, just to get started. I think we got them back in uh, March, April. Yeah. And uh, I put them on my paramotor, and Eric put them on his as well. Yeah. And uh, we were actually blown away that this simple device um, at how effective it was. I mean, let's talk about the torque with the air conception as it is. Well, it, as you well, as you know, I'm 130 pounds. Um, I go full power, um, and I climb, and s very slight, light, slight weight shift to the left, and it, it, it totally takes care of totally it, right? takes care of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I flew with the Lamels um, on the air conception, um, and it was it was astounding because even if you're standing in the, into the wind, you can actually feel the motor move while you're yeah. standing into the wind, which is really weird. Never yeah. had that feeling. I'm going to describe first off how these work. There's a kit of anti-torque lamelles from Virus PPG. We, uh, they come with 20 of these lamelles, and these lamelles go around the cage, as you can see in the perimeter next to me. Yeah. They mount to the netting of the perimeter. Um, they're on there really good. I've been flying this now for four and a half, five months. They haven't loosened up. They haven't fallen off. Nope. They're very, very secure on the net. And like Kyle said, it takes about 10 minutes or so to install these. Yeah. So as you can see, they, uh, they're an airfoil. They're basically, you've got these 20 small airfoils and they're on the outside of the net. And on the outside is where they're, they're gonna have the most lever arm, they're gonna produce the most aerodynamic force. And it produces an aerodynamic force that is opposite the force that's produced by the prop. And the neat thing is, is just like the Scout and the Nirvana, um, it's all based on airflow. So yeah. of course, the more that you, the more power you use, obviously the prop produces more torque, but you have more yes. airflow that's producing airflow over these lamelles that creates an aerodynamic force against that airflow. So uh, you actually, I mean, like, like Kyle was saying, the air conception doesn't have a whole lot of torque to start out with, but you actually fly in a perfectly straight line yeah. at full power with these lamelles. There's no, there's no more weight shifting a little bit to the left to fly in a straight line or putting one leg over the other. It's just a straight line up into the air, full power, and uh, it's really nice. Now, while it's not absolutely necessary to have, especially they do a very good job canceling, canceling the, torque the torque with the offset bars and the motor and everything else. Um, it's 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 a it's a nice to have product. Um, same thing if you're doing hard like full power turns left and right. Yeah, you don't feel any torque. That left turn is going to feel exactly Just like, like the right the right turn. So, you know, we've been really impressed with the durability. Like I said, we've had them now for about four and a half months. They've stayed on very well. They've, they've held up. We've been to a lot of fly-ins with them. They've held up in the sunlight. They haven't faded. Um, I'm not even going to describe. What, what, what do they call it? A poly? A poly? poly po we, we can, it's a poly uh, something. I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't explain or try to pronounce the word that they're made out of. Poly, ethos, something, whatever. Yeah. Plastic. Basically, it's a, a thermoplastic, molded thermoplastic. Um, it is a uh, UV um, printed... Uh, multi-layered with a fiber effect. They did a really nice job with that. They've got two types. They've got a standard lamelle, which is uh, basically developed for a 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter square type netting. Yep. Now, what we found on the air conceptions is that some of them are 52, some of them are yeah, they 60, vary. depending on when we got the net in. But we have found like this, this motor here, it's actually 60 by 60 between the net openings and it works. It works and, fine. And we're using the standard lamelles. Um, and the standard lamelles are the easiest to install. Yeah. And they also make them for left or right left turning, or right um, yep. depending on whether you have a belt drive or whether you have a geared redrive for your paramotor. Yep. Uh, and then you can talk about the the other type is the universal type. Yeah, the universal type is, it, it's the same thing. You can see this one here. 
and we'll have close-ups of these as well. This one actually already has cuts in it to fit this specific netting or the 50 by 50 millimeter. And then the universal is, say you have another type of paramotor that the netting isn't the same size or the netting might be in a square shape. Um, you can actually cut these and trim these uh, exactly how you want them to fit wherever yeah. you want them. Um, and and it, was, it was good to test them and see back and forth. We've had, um, I think we've had a couple people now who have got these and, and trimmed them and they said it was, it was very easy. Um, when one guy used a razor blade, he was able to cut them. Mm -hmm. um, or, or a Dremel, whichever works, but it, uh, either way they were very easy to, uh, to actually install these and just simply cut the universal and it's great because it'll fit on, fit on anything. And I think even if you had a, a really good quality pair of scissors, you could yeah. actually cut. So you're going to, you, with the universal you're going to mark out basically the width of your netting, measure out that netting and mark out the holes to cut that out. Um, they're really easy to install. Um, there's instructions available, like Kyle said. The hardest part is actually figuring out how they go on, but luckily uh, there's great instructions on how to do that. Yeah. Um, and it's, yeah, it, it might take a little bit longer if you use the universal one, mm -hmm. but because you have to cut it for a specific net, because you can actually use these on any paramotor that has a net on it. Yeah. Um, Sometimes they work too well. That's actually true. Cause <laughs> let's talk about Eric's paramotor. Yeah, so Eric's got the XL, the, the big 150 centimeter prop on there. And uh, we put 20 on his. We got these in. We were excited to try them. Uh, I put all of them on the paramotor, and he gets back and says, why does it torque left? I said, well, we have too many on there. So he actually ended up taking off, I think, two on each side. So now he only has 16 on total on his, um, it, which was fine. But it was, it was interesting to see how great of an effect they actually have mm -hmm. and having to take some off. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and what we've noticed, too, is that um, some people have asked, well, how does that affect your ability to, to break down the cage and, and take it all apart? It really has no effect at all. The, the, the cage still comes apart just fine. The lamelles still stay in the netting. Yep. Um, they kind of lay flat. You can still wrap it up if you need to. You can still fit it in your air conception transport bag if you're yeah. putting it on the air conception. And I would imagine it would be the same for other, other paramotor products. So, We also brought this uh, motor to Beach Blast. I think Chris Santa Croce flew it. Uh, Jeff Goen flew it, and uh, the feedback from both of them was uh, very similar to what we felt. At first, they were like, yeah, let's see, yeah. I don't know about this thing, if it's going to work, and they were really impressed with uh, uh, such a simple product that, uh, and, and if you guys know Jeff, he's, uh, he's about 130 pounds as well, Yeah. so flying a Nitro 200, and he said it was zero torque, it, it was fabulous. So, so this could be a, um, this could be a nice to have uh, option for your paramotor for if you just want zero torque for climbing or hard left and right turns under power but it could also be a really good safety option for those lighter pilots that are flying these bigger uh, and more powerful engines that you know have more torque. sub 150 pounds where it, it helps really effectively cancel that out so if you guys are interested um, we are going to have these on our web store at aviatorppg.com or you can call us 1833parafly send an email to uh, any of us here at the shop We'll be glad to help you out. Um, like Kyle said, they are available in flat black or yeah, gloss, gloss black, black. And they are available for left or right uh, rotating propellers. Yep. And we also have the standards or the universals. So we can really uh, make these happen for any type of paramotor that has um, what I guess I would consider like your standard netting. Uh, yeah. I mean, there are some, some options, I'm sure, that wouldn't work. But for 98% of all paramotors, yeah. it'll, I think these would uh, work out for you. So. Um, let us know if we can help you out with that, and thanks for watching, guys.